I basically, to, to make a long story short, I took a linguistics class this term. I did not like it. I did not like it very much. Um, I doodled a lot more in linguistics than I actually did linguistics, so I took it as arts practice, which was good for my distros. <laughs> um, <laughs> big thing with distros at Compton. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, welcome to the show. You've missed like 45 minutes. <laughs> um, I don't really love the distros at Carlton. You know, it gets me out of my comfort zone, which I don't really like. Um, some would argue that that's the point. That's kind of the point. But I would argue that no, it's actually kind of annoying. Um, I took four terms of German because of distribution requirements, and now I can confidently say that DOS sucked. DOS sucked hard. <laughs> um, some people major in geology, which is fine if you like rocks. <laughs> if you don't like rocks, you probably shouldn't major in geology. I had a friend that hated rocks. He hated rocks. But he majored in geology. <laughs> he was always frustrated. So that's my tip. <laughs> um, we go to a liberal arts school, which means that we study lots of different subjects, which is very fun and exciting, right? That's the choice that we made. But it also kind of makes us academic sluts, doesn't it? <laughs> you know, or academic whores. Whatever term you want to use, it's fine, but we're students of the night. <laughs> I mean, it gets really out of control. Some kids will stick any old textbook up their ass, you know? <laughs> me, me, I think a major should mean something. I only stick TX, CS textbooks up my ass, okay? I'm a normal person. <laughs> um, the thing is, I just know where CS's clitoris is which is helpful. Um, I've yet to find CS's G spot. Uh, no, it's not the G key on the keyboard. I tried that. It was my first guess, too. Um, I took a history course this term because of distribution requirement, which was, um, it was like pretty fun. It was actually really interesting. Um, but the thing is that like me and CS are together, so like nothing's going to happen with me in history. You know? like, I would never do that to CS. You know? I made a commitment. I declared a commitment in front of an ordained the hub. To see how <laughs> okay. Um, I have a few pre-med friends, and they're um, they're pretty cool people. Um, they're also really annoying. <laughs> I'm like, hey, you want to hang out and play charades? And they're like, no. I'm very busy. I have to be a doctor in 11 years. <laughs> Which do you think is more satisfying in the short term, okay? Short term. Deleting emails from the career center or having a career? I think we all know the answer. That's number one. <laughs> okay? If the career center was, was on Tinder, we'd all swipe left. Oh. Yeah, that's my irrational hatred towards the career center that we all share. Um, if you go to coffee with someone, I find this very interesting. If you go to coffee with someone and you're like, hey, thanks for coming to coffee with me. And they say, oh, the pleasure was all mine. That's a really nice thing to say, right? But like, it sounds to me like you're hogging all the pleasure. <laughs> I mean, if you have sex with someone, and you're like, hey, thanks for having sex with me. And they're like, oh, the pleasure was all mine. <laughs> kind of um, similarly, you can never say to someone, hey, you look terrible. That's really mean to say, right? Um, but if they're sick, you're allowed to say it. If someone's sick, you're allowed to be like, hey, you look terrible, which is kind of kicking someone while they're down, right? <laughs> but that's why, no, 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 it's a good thing, because that's why if you know someone that's ugly, you just wait for them to get sick and you can finally be honest with them. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think dick pics don't say a thousand words, okay? <laughs> yeah, we can all agree on that. I think they say the following five words. I am this, a dick. <laughs> right? I, my big question on dick pics is who, dick pics is short for dick pictures, right? Right? <laughs> my big question is who said dick pictures so many times that they were laying down the line and were like, I need to abbreviate this. <laughs> I am running out of breath. <laughs> I've never taken any dick pics. I'm sure you would all be happy to know that. Um, well, oh, wait, excuse me, I've never sent any dick pics. Okay. Uh, of course I've taken them. I mean, on days when my dick happens to look particularly photogenic, of course. <laughs> um, but those are for my own private viewing and catalog. <laughs> I don't share them. I, I guess I've just never been in the situation where someone's not with me, but they need to see my dick, like, right now. <laughs> if I was in that situation, of course. Desperate times, desperate measures. Yeah. 
Um, I had a friend in high school who um, her boyfriend cheated on her, which is horrible. We all know better. But he did say he was sorry like twice. So there, it's not black and white, you know? <laughs> um, and one day, he was always trying to win her back. And one day, that, that, that pining came in the form of a dick picture with no text, no cash. <laughs> <laughs> because it speaks for itself. Um, <laughs> but what was weird about the real kicker was that it wasn't his dick. <laughs> But it was my dick. <laughs> he found my albums. <laughs> um, I think art is a very subjective thing. It's very subjective. Some people are going to laugh at my jokes. Some people are going to realize that there are funnier things than life to life than like dicks, right? Like, um, what's something that's funnier than like dicks? Right. Okay. So maybe it is at the top of the pyramid. <laughs> right, maybe it is. Um, but that's why I don't really like the Oscars, because it, it, I mean, best movie, that's very subjective, right? Um, that bothers me. Um, that's, that's not a joke, that's just something that bothers me. <laughs> Thank you, I enjoy that. Um, on the topic, though, who do you think should have won best, uh, best sound editing? <laughs> not, not a lot of opinions there, that's okay. Um, I think Christopher Nolan and in Interstellar should have won best sound editing, right? All right, because I love bass in a movie, and I think Nolan has a real knack for it, okay? At the very least, it should have won most sound editing. <laughs> I'm aware that's sort of a niche joke, okay? But, you know, uh, maybe you'll be watching a Nolan film a couple months from now, and you'll hear some bass, you'll be reminded of this joke and chuckle a little bit. Right? That's a good thing. I don't do one-night stands. My jokes are intended to keep you warm down the line. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, uh, hey uh, how was the stand-up show? Uh, I think I'm dating a joke about sound editing. <laughs> Is it serious? I don't know, a lot of people heard the joke. <laughs> Did I lose most of you? <laughs> <laughs> great, great, let's reset our using a dick joke again. <laughs> My dick is huge, said Pinocchio. Girl looks at Pinocchio and says, you know, that'll work. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize. I said I'd do a dick joke that's really more of a nose joke. It's, uh, it's my bad. That's where the term nose job comes from, actually, which is kind of fun. It's the same job as in blow job. <laughs> uh, um, I think my favorite song right now is the, uh, is the song that plays uh, on grandfather clocks. I listen to it like once every hour. Oh, uh, I expected a groan on that joke. Um, watching a film the other day, recreationally, in which a naked woman um, rubbed cake all over herself. Uh, but it was carrot cake. Uh, which, is, which is less sexy. And from that, I think we can all acknowledge that carrot is the least sexy cake ingredient. <laughs> Uh, it's clearly worse when you're cuddling with someone to be the big spoon, right? Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. But chairs, guys, guys, chairs are always the big spoon. <laughs> They're so selfless. I love chairs. <laughs> um, do you guys think there's a rule in the Olympics or an official temperature for the water in pools? You guys think there is? Yeah. I have yeah. a suspicion that there might be, because you never see swimmers before the start of a race going like this. <laughs> they seem to know before they die. <laughs> I think the gymnastics in the Olympics needs to decide whether it's porn or not. <laughs> we all appreciate that verdict. I mean, come on, all the events are so sexual. The bar the floor, the pommel horse, <laughs> excuse me? The bar is where you meet potential mates, the floor is where you boink, and who wouldn't want to pummel a horse? <laughs> <laughs> uh, my favorite sport in the Olympics is the modern pentathlon. Any modern pentathlon fans? <laughs> really? <laughs> Um, a couple of you guys are asking what that is. It's the greatest sport in the Olympics. Let me read you the official description from the Olympics website. Here we go. The modern pentathlon simulates the experience of a 19th century cavalry soldier behind enemy lines. 
He, she must swim, run, fight with pistol and sword, and ride an unfamiliar horse. <laughs> Finally, the sport of the Olympics, which simulates the experience of a 19th century cavalry soldier behind enemy lines. <laughs> Football came close, but now we have the real thing. The U.S. has no medals in this event. It's been around for about 50 years. Hungary has 29 gold medals. <laughs> Hungary still thinks cavalry wins wars, though. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'd fuck Seabiscuit, but I wouldn't send him into war. <laughs> Couple of you guys don't think Seabiscuit is an attractive horse? You need to watch the movie again. <laughs> um, I think Adam and Eve definitely got married. I think that's very true, and the, and the evidence I have is that uh, there's lots of protesters with signs that say it's Adam and Eve and that not Adam and Steve, and those signs wouldn't make any sense unless Adam and Eve. I love those signs, Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve, because the argument applies to every marriage. I protest many weddings. It's Adam and Eve, not Kanye and Kim. <laughs> Thank you very much. Up next is Eli, uh, no, Julie Vinland. 